So that's always usually one shot. So you're telling the pilot, I have to be in this spot to take the shot. And uh, trying to direct the aircraft over the space you want at the right height to get the composition you need is like one of the techniques which is coming out greatly improving. <laughs> I chose landscape photography because I like creating with what's already there and um, I have a deeper connection with the land usually than with other people. Mm. <laughs> this is how I am. <laughs> In recent times I've uh, become obsessed with aerial photography and that has been revolving a lot around the coast and also around the land. Uh, it gives you a different perspective from just being on the ground. Uh, I spent probably six years just traversing mountains and going into forests and now changed my tone <laughs> and gone towards the coast more and uh, so that's, that's the direction we're heading right now. January 2022, uh, I'm going to have a solar exhibition at Terra Art Gallery. That exhibition is going to be solely based on the Illawarra area, um, so it's going to be abstracts and minimalistic work captured throughout the Illawarra area. And I moved into competitions uh, in 2014 and then by 2019 I had won 65 international awards. Um, I took out eight gold medals uh, being a finalist in an Australian Geographic Enzyme competition uh, and I've been published several times. Every photo has its own challenge. Each one comes with a story, whether it be hiking into a mountain for four days or five days and getting caught in a blizzard, trying to work with the wind, with the trees moving, or could be waiting for the right time of year for the sun direction or the leaf color. You could go for a sunrise at one spot 20 times before you get it. It might take you three or four years to take one shot. Um, most recently the challenges I'm having are the movement of an aircraft and then picking the right tide uh, so you get different colours in the water at different tides. Picking the right wind because it changes how much detail there is in the ground. Uh, also the right sun direction, right time of day so that you don't have shadows from your aircraft or shadows from sea cliffs or anything like that. What inspires you? Just being able to create constantly, uh, just constantly searching for the next uh, detail that I can create <laughs> something beautiful out of. Mm. Do you have a favourite photo? The next one I'm going to take. Yeah. <laughs> it's whichever one I've just taken is usually my favourite until I've taken something else and I'm like, that tops it. <laughs>